Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I am going to be going over my top 10 products from Priceline. Now I did do two of these videos back in 2020, but it has been a while and it's definitely time for a refresh. So my friend Samantha is on do here on YouTube and I have got together to let you know what our top favorite products are. If you aren't already subscribed to Samantha's channel, you need to go and check her out. She's down to earth, she's sarcastic, which means she's funny. So go and check out her channel if you are after some more Aussie beauty content. Now the last couple years haven't been like a huge makeup wearing time for me, just because of the jobs that I've had. I have had to wear a mask every day and that's really annoying when it comes to wanting to put on a beautiful face of makeup every day and try out new products. But I've got a lot of favorites here that I have used and abused. I know they're good, so let's get into it. First up is the Rimmel Kind and Free Skin Tint. Now skin tints have become really popular over the last year or so. I did try out a few, but a lot of them just didn't have the coverage I was looking for. I wanted something lightweight, but was still going to cover up my redness and make it look like I've actually put on some sort of foundation. So as soon as I tried the Rimmel Kind and Free, I fell in love. This has a beautiful light to medium coverage. It's very lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy or thick or greasy at all. And it has decent longevity for a skin tint. It's definitely not going to give you what a full coverage foundation gives you when it comes to longevity and like being sweat proof, things like that. But I love this foundation for when I've just got to go out for a few hours, run a few errands, because it makes my skin just still look like skin. Now it does only come in eight shades on the Priceline website. I use this shade 10 Rose Ivory and it retails for $19.95. It's got a beautiful satin finish. It doesn't cling to any dry patches and I just love how hydrating it feels. The next product that I just cannot stop talking about is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I have just never tried a concealer like this. And over the years, I have noticed my preferences changing when it comes to concealer as well. So this one comes in eight shades. It does retail for $26.95, which is quite pricey. NYX is one of the pricier brands at Priceline. Um, so I always wait for a sale, but I use the shade light, which is the second one in the range. So if you are fairer than me, there is another option, but I love this shade. I think it matches my skin tone really nicely. Okay. So the formula of this concealer is extremely creamy. It has a medium coverage and is very hydrating under the eyes. And I think that is the thing that makes it stand out for me the most because I've always gone for a full coverage under the eyes and a matte finish and that can be quite drying. I was a little turned off this concealer when I first saw it because it had serum in the title. So I just assumed it was going to be a light coverage, just not for me but I think that is what gives it that beautiful hydrating finish. In no way does it feel thick or heavy under the eyes. It blends out beautifully with a sponge or your fingers and it barely settles into my fine lines. This concealer for me is one of the first that I have tried that I do not need to set with a powder either. It dries down, but not to a complete matte. It still has that hydrating quality, but it's not budging. It also works really well on blemishes because it is so hydrating. If you do have some dry patches, it's not going to accentuate that. It just gives it a beautiful coverage. Seriously, out of everything I mentioned in this video today, that would have to be my number one recommendation. I just cannot get enough. Next is the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. And I decided to try this one because I saw Jessica Braun raving about it and I am so glad I did. I've definitely been more into cream cheek products lately and there is just something about the formula of this bronzer. I've been trying to think of the right word to describe it for like the last hour, but it's just not coming to me. I'm gonna blame baby brain on that one. Now this isn't on the Priceline website as far as I can see, but I'm pretty sure it was around 10 to $12. 
and it comes in two shades, light and medium. Now I end up going for medium because it had a bit more of a cooler undertone, whereas light was a bit too orange. This bronzer is so pigmented. You only need to go in with a tiny little bit, but it is extremely creamy, but not opaque and like that's a good thing though and that's what i mean like i can't find the right word to describe that exactly <laughs> it just blends out so easily like a few taps with the brush and you're done although it's super pigmented it's a very light bronzer and it kind of shears out once you blend it you can go in with a little bit more and build it up which is what i like to do but i think if you are new to cream bronzers this would be a good one to try because it does sheer out i just love that slight warmth that it gives the beautiful glow it makes your skin look super healthy it's really long lasting and is just such a beautiful formula next on my list are the astralis dewy and daring cream blushes these have only come into my collection over the last couple months, but holy moly, I cannot get enough. So they retail for $14.95 and the blush range comes in four different shades. Today I went in with the shade Girl Next Door. This has been my favorite. It's just a beautiful muted pink and the formula of these blushes leave it such a gorgeous dewy finish just like the title describes as you can see from the swatches they are quite pigmented but again they sheer out quite a bit once you start blending they are so easy to blend out i do like to use a brush but a sponge works great as well i just love the finish of them the glow that it gives to the skin is beautiful i don't have any highlighter on at the moment this is just all the blush and even though they are quite dewy, they are very long lasting. Next is a pressed powder that I have just been flying through and it is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. Now I have the shade Fair and it retails for $18.95. To me, what makes this pressed powder different is how it smooths out the skin. It is very mattifying, but it doesn't look heavy or like too powdery on the skin and it just locks your makeup in place like it ain't going anywhere i really love applying it with a sponge because i like to press the powder into my skin but it also works really well with a brush this is one of those powders that under the eyes it doesn't settle heavily into fine lines either again it just kind of mattifies and smooths everything out it does add a little bit of coverage but not so much that again it looks heavy on the skin i have just been non-stop dipping into this powder flying through them it's my favorite Next, I have a few products for the brows. Starting with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, my favorite shade in this is Taupe. It has a nice cool undertone, which is what I prefer when it comes to my brows. And I know there are like a thousand micro brow pencils on the market, but what I love about this formula is that it's that perfect in-between of creaminess and dryness isn't the right word. But you know what I mean? It's not so dry that you've got to like scrape it and go over and over the same spot to get some pigment, but it's not so creamy that it moves around during the day. On the Priceline website, it comes in six shades and retails for $17.99. The next brow product is also from NYX and I just opened a Freshie today. This is the Brow Glue. So this one retails for $14.99. It does just come in the clear. I have seen on Instagram that it is being released in different shades, but NYX did message me to say that unfortunately Australia won't be getting those. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out on Beauty Bay, hopefully I can get it from there because this brow gel is the best. Oh my God. If you love the look of soap brows, but don't like doing the soap brow routine, this is the product for you. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you would know how obsessed I am when a brow gel comes with a tiny little spoolie. And look at this, so tiny, so precise. Now the formula of this product is a bit sticky and that may put you off, but that's actually what works for slicking the brows down. I think that's why the little spoolie is so important in this case too, because you can just apply a little bit of product brush it through the brows and then i like to go in with the handle of a brush and just gently roll that over the brows to really place them down and when i tell you they do not move they do not move there's nothing worse than when you've done your makeup you go to put on a shirt and it touches your brows and like 
brushes all the hairs down. You're like, seriously? This brow gel will keep them in place all day and it doesn't dry down crunchy either. Like they still feel soft, but I know they're not going anywhere. It is quite a tiny packet, but it lasts a super long time. You don't need much product. It is the best brow gel that I have tried in a long time. I cannot get enough of it. And then the last brow product is the Essence Tiny Tip Brow Pen. And I feel like I have talked about this quite a lot on my channel, but it had to be included in the top 10 because it is only five freaking dollars and it works so well. It has a felt tip applicator that you can see is super thin, which makes it so easy to get very precise lines. This is the kind of product I feel like I need for my brows because they are quite sparse, especially in the arch and on the tail end. So once I fill it in with a pencil, it kind of looks like I filled it in with a pencil. But once I go in with this and add in those brush strokes, it makes them look more full, more hairy, <laughs> and just not as like fake and makeup-y. I have tried quite a lot of brow products from Priceline and this is a hands down the best one. The color doesn't change once it hits your skin. Makeup revolution, I'm looking at you. <laughs> it stays super pigmented and it is very long lasting. Next is another one by NYX. I know this is a bit NYX heavy, but I have just been loving a lot of their products lately. And this is the Bear With Me Multitasking Spray. This to me is the equivalent of MAC Fix Plus. It says that it primes, sets, and refreshes. Now, as for priming, I can agree. It just gives your skin that boost of hydration. Setting your makeup, not so much setting it in place for longevity, but it settles all those powders in, settles all the products together, exactly what MAC Fix Plus claims to do. And then refreshing, again, just adding that bit of hydration to your skin, zhuzhing everything up, just makes you feel like, ah, oh, fresh. It does have a aloe vera and cucumber scent as well, which like adds to that freshness. I even used it today to get my metallic shadow to look more bold and vibrant. It is just such a great multitasking spray and it only retails for $21.99. And then the last product in my top 10 today are the Maybelline Lift Up Glosses. Now this range has nine shades to choose from and they are $20.99. And I like that there are different finishes throughout the range as well. So the one I have used the most is called 003 Moon. And this just has that sheer classic gloss. It's a light pink. It is so beautiful, great for every day. It is like my perfect nude gloss color. And then the other formula that they have is a little more opaque. So you do have to be a bit more careful when applying it, like definitely look in a mirror. But this just adds a beautiful tint of color while also giving you that super glossy look. The formula of these glosses are beautiful. I love the big doe foot applicator. It makes it super easy to apply. They are very hydrating. The gloss is long lasting. And I feel like it really smooths out your lips while making them look nice and juicy and plump. The packaging is also just stunning. It really feels quite luxe for a drugstore product. All right, well, that is all from me today. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you use any of these products, leave me a comment down below or just leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite picks from Priceline are because I'm always ready to try some new makeup from Priceline. If you'd like a part two, also let me know because I'm sure I can round up a few more products. Make sure you go and check out Samantha's video. I can't wait to see what her picks are. I'm sure I will definitely do some shopping after watching that. Before I go, let me give you a quick bump update. Let's zoom her out. I am currently 30 weeks when I'm filming this. Look at her, oh my God. If you follow me on Instagram, you would just see me do this all the time, but I can't get enough. Oh my God. Oh, also I cut my hair off. <laughs> if you watched my vlog, you would have seen that in action. But if you didn't, I just thought, let's cut it off. I've had enough. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you are new here and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.